Welcome back to Innovation. Last time we were here, we built our working keyboard. So when I press K and the note I want to play, let me hit green flag first, I get my note. Now, what I want to do is add in another instrument. So let's go looking for another instrument. I think a saxophone would look cool. So we're going to go to our music and look for a saxophone. And we're gonna change this costume. Just like we did before, we're gonna change the costume and put a letter on the saxophone. We put a K for the keyboard. This time we are gonna put an S for the saxophone and we're gonna put it on both of our sprites. S for saxophone. And we're going to try to get it in the same spot, or at least close. I think I used a lowercase before, so let's use a lowercase. Let me go back and change that to a lowercase s. That's good. And change this to a lowercase s. That's good. So when we switch our costumes, we can see it animates. Great. Now let's look at our code. Our code is going to be very similar to the code that we had before. First, we do want to get this when any key pressed repeat loop into our saxophone. So I'm going to just copy this code to our saxophone. To copy code, you click on it and you can drag it and you'll see that it lights up. So the saxophone sprite is lighting up when I hover over it. Sometimes it's easier if you shrink the code a little bit so it kind of fits a little better, but you can see it lights up and shakes a little bit. I can drop it, and now when I look at my saxophone, that code is now copied into my saxophone. The other code I want to copy is the set size. So I'm going to set that over, and we'll decide what size we want it. Um, right now, it's set to 200%, so that might be too big for our saxophone, but I think that's okay right now. We could always choose to change that later. Now, the notes are a little different. We can't use the same sounds, but we might be able to use this as a starting point. So I'm going to copy this over to the saxophone and see what we need to change. So we don't want to use the letter K anymore. We want to use the letter S for our saxophone. And this sound isn't going to work. We need to look at the sounds and see what sounds are here. Oh, and look, we have the C sound for a saxophone now because we use the saxophone sprite. So we're going to go through and click on the sound and add in our saxophone sounds. Remember, we want it to be the start sound, not the play sound until done. So we want that. And we're going to do the C. Remember, we don't want the C2. We want the C. And now we're just going to repeat this for all of the notes. So I'm just going to duplicate like I did before. D. E. F. G, A, and B. And we're not going to do C2 because, again, we don't have a C2 key, and we're going to take care of that in a different way. So now let's check to see if our code works. I press the green flag, and when I press the letter key, K, I can play my keyboard. When I press the letter S and play, I get the saxophone. Now, you'll notice they both animate. So 
That is something we may have to deal with later, but I think that's okay. We could check and put inside our loop here that we only switch to the next costume if the S is pressed. So let's try that. Let's add that in. Go to control and say if sensing and the S is pressed. We'll animate our costume. Then we're going to go to the keyboard and put in the same kind of thing to make it so only our keyboard animates. So let's find that block. There it is. Find our conditional. If, and we want to put it around that code like that sensing and this time we want to sense when the K is pressed so we only want to work our animation when the K is pressed there we go so let's see how that works so when I'm going to press the K and press my notes oh look the saxophone doesn't play it doesn't do its animation so now I'm going to do saxophone now animates and the keyboard does not now the interesting thing about this is if I press s and key at the K at the same time they both animate and I get both instruments playing when I go through the different letters kind of fun So I think we have time to do one more instrument. So let's go and search for a sprite. Let's click on music. I think we're going to do a trumpet. So I put a trumpet in and I'm going to go through and do the same kinds of things we did before. Put in a T for trumpet. click on our code and we want to get the same code when a key is pressed any key is pressed this will do our animation so we're going to carry this onto our trumpet and when the green flag is clicked we're going to carry that onto our trumpet I don't know if we want to do 200% for our trumpet we might be okay we'll see we'll leave it as 200% we'll see and this time we don't want to do S we want to do the letter T so anytime the T is pressed it'll switch costumes and we still have to get our starter. So let's do our note and copy that down to the trumpet. And now we can start and do our notes. So you can go through, switch this to the letter T, not the T, the letter C, my fault. There we go, the letter C. This is the one that's the letter T. So when T is pressed, we don't want the saxophone sound. We want the trumpet sound. And we don't want C2, we want C. So now we're just going to duplicate this and do all the other notes like we did before. So that's all I have for today. You go ahead and finish up those notes and get your trumpet playing along with your keyboard and your sax. Bye for now.